Yo, what is up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your network adapter for the best latency, for the lowest ping, and for the least possible buffer bloat. First things first, we're going to update our network adapter. So go to the link in the description and download the pack that we're going to be using for this video. And once you have, have it downloaded, extract it, and you should be left with this folder. So we're going to update our network adapter. Double click the first folder, double click this, and you just want to run SDIO underscore auto dot bat and basically what this is it's a tool where you could find all the drivers that you need for your pc and most of these you don't really need you just need your ethernet adapter and if you want you could update your wi-fi as well but this is a ethernet mainly an ethernet video so if you're on wi-fi i wouldn't really recommend following this video i just find a different video and follow that switch to ethernet you could get a power line adapter or you could just move the router next to your pc but either way you want to check your ethernet adapter click install right here and it'll start downloading the driver that is most recently updated for your network adapter and the reason why we want to do this is because some of you might be on a really really old driver for the network adapter which could be causing loads and loads of issues so i'm gonna let this install so once it's finished downloading it'll restart your internet connection and once it's back up you can close out of this now go back to our folder and we're going to click the second one tweak network settings it'll open up device manager you want to expand network adapters double click your ethernet adapter it might be intel or killer but for me it's the realtek family controller double click on it click power management make sure all of this is unchecked then head over to advanced and i'll leave a list above of what settings you should disable obviously some of you might not have some of these settings and some of you will have these settings but i'll basically leave a list of what settings to disable usually everything else you should leave alone but just in case, we'll go through some of the things that we should be disabling. So ARP offload, ARP offload and NS offload, you wanna disable both of these. So we're gonna be disabling ARP, we're gonna find NS offload, disable this. And any power saving setting, we're gonna disable that. So we're gonna give a light, disable that. Green eth ethernet, disable that. Energy efficient ethernet, disable that. And flow control, we wanna disable that as well. And any large send offload, you're going to disable that as well. And maximum number of RSS queues, make sure this is set to the max, which will most likely be four queues. And it's offload, same thing, disable. Power saving mode, disable. And you want to scroll down. And any wake on setting, you want to disable. Now, speed and duplex, you are able to leave this on auto. But if you have a connection which is stuck on 100 megabytes and the way to check this is basically click the third one right here double click ethernet and if this says anything less than 100 you might want to try might want to try setting this to the max for speed and duplex however most likely if that's the case then either your cable for your ethernet is very outdated and you might need a new one or your router is pretty much garbage and doesn't have a gigabit port or it does but you're not using that port so you want to check those two things but if those two things do not apply to you just set this to the max and see what's going on and yeah I'm gonna leave it on auto because it's running perfectly fine for me check some offload for TCP and UDP make sure these are set to enabled and disable wake on magic pack shut down link speed not speed down and press ok now it'll restart your internet so just give it a second to reconnect right after that so now we're gonna double click the third step and double click our ethernet we're gonna click properties and we want to basically uncheck everything in here except IPv4 now some things will not show up for me because I have a custom OS. This is my Zulu OS. And if you want it, book my advanced PC optimization service, which comes with a load of other things from all the way from BIOS optimizations to recommending you hardware for your PC. But anyways, it'll show more things in here. You wanna uncheck everything except IPv4. As you can see, I only have one thing I need to uncheck. So I'm gonna uncheck that, then press okay. Then I'm gonna click properties again. We're gonna double click internet protocol version four. 
we're gonna go to advanced right here go to wins tab and make sure this is unchecked and net bios settings set that to disable net bios over tcp slash ip and i press ok i'm gonna get into the dns server setting right now so basically dns server has become sort of a myth a lot of people think it lowers your ping well it really doesn't because all it does is give you a domain name system a specific one whenever you change it so if you're not using a specific one you're just using the one that your isp gave you which is your internet service provider that's what isp stands for most of the time that should be perfectly fine but if you want to load web pages a little bit faster like on chrome or on, or on firefox then you could use something like cloudflare or the google dns so you could do your research on that but in terms of ping buffer blow it does absolutely nothing so i'm gonna leave it alone because mine is perfectly fine and again it doesn't help ping or buffer blow so press ok press ok and press close and exit out of this now disabling nagging algorithm so what nagging algorithm basically does it reduces the packets that are being sent over to a server so we don't really want that for a game you want it always sending information you want the lowest latency possible double click on disable nagging algorithm and it'll apply the registry keys that are required to disable this algorithm so once it's done just press a key and that's pretty much it for this step we're gonna go into a little bit of a mini step right here we're gonna be testing our buffer bloat head over to the second link in the description which should take you to the waveform buffer bloat test and this test is really helpful because it really tells you what buffer blow is and what things you should check before starting the test what causes buffer blow and how to fix it but most of the time it's your router or your internet is just really bad to the point where you have buffer bloat no matter what router or modem you have most of the time it's your router and sometimes your cable ethernet and rarely it's your network adapter. If it is your, ne your network adapter, it's most likely because it's a killer ethernet network adapter. And that one's really garbage. They put it in the pre-builds for Dell and Alienware PCs and some of the other PCs I've seen use killer. It's a really bad quality internet adapter. So if you want a quality network adapter that has lower latency than the one on the motherboard, I'll leave a link below to the i210 network adapter. Some of the pros that play, for example, Fortnite use it, and they say it helps them with taking walls. But obviously, take this with a grain of salt. They could have had a really garbage network adapter before, and now they're on a really good one, so they have a lower buffer bloat. But yeah, that is one of the ways to improve buffer bloat. We're going to start the test and let it do its thing. Now, mine is really garbage because I have a really cheap router. I'm not going to change my router yet due to be having really bad internet and as you can see you'll see in a second how bad my internet actually is this is just due to the quality of the internet that i have in my area sooner or later i will end up getting a better network service but as of right now this is what i have to deal with so as you can see we're getting about 80 ms with download which is really terrible so we'll let this finish up and so this is a really clear example of what not want to get as a result so the best result you can get is an A or an A plus and nearly 90% of you are able to get that unless you have a really bad quality hardware in terms of a router or your network adapter. But most of you should be able to get an A plus, especially with the settings being applied. But as you can see, some things are just limited by your hardware and whatever you do onto your PC, it might not help, but you just need to upgrade your hardware eventually. In my case, I need a better router. It should fix all of this. Should be getting an A plus right after that. Use myself an example. And basically the routers that are really bad are from your internet service provider. If you're paying monthly for a router from your internet provider, like for example, Spectrum, Xfinity, Comcast, those are gonna be lower quality and they're just trying to rob you, basically. You might be thinking you're getting a deal, but you're really not. So. This website actually recommends some of the routers that help your buffer bloat. 
And I think the Nighthawk one is pretty good because it has Duma OS, which has tons of settings that you could choose. And you could copy other people's settings from online with Duma OS and get better buffer bloat, better input lag within games. That's that from buffer bloat. We're gonna exit out of this now and head over back to our pack. And the fifth step is really optional. It depends if you have packet loss or not. And usually if you have packet loss, is because of your cables around your home or again bad hardware or if you have bad cables the only way to really know if you have that is to call up your internet service provider tell them that you have packet loss and ask them how to fix it usually they'll send a technician out to your home and start he'll start diagnosing some of the areas around your house and Eventually, he'll find some sort of problem and fix it. If he doesn't, then he's either being lazy or actually everything is perfectly fine, but there is something within your either your PC, your cable between your PC and your ethernet port, or something along those lines that is causing you packet loss. But if that doesn't help at all, you can always do this, which is disable global auto tuning. Now, I'm not going to get into depths into what global auto tuning is. You could Google that. It's pretty simple what it is, but some games really need this enabled. So if you're playing Fortnite, do not disable this. If you're playing any other game, try disabling it. If it doesn't help at all, just keep it enabled because if you do disable it, it will lower your internet speed, but it might fix your packet loss. But either way. If this doesn't help, you can always enable it with this bat. So for example, if you want to disable it, you press 2 on your keyboard, press enter, and it'll apply it, and then once you press a key, it'll disable, it'll exit out of the bat. So if you want to enable it, press 1, press enter, and press a key, it takes it out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If this helped you, leave a comment, and make sure to like and subscribe. And if you need anything else, comment down below. I'll try to help most of you. I usually read all my comments, or try to. But anyways, have a good one.